Mix It With Mike plugin of the week comes from Waves. It's Magma Springs. This is a new impulse response driven spring reverb plugin by Waves. Actually sounds really good. That's why I'm reviewing it. So uh, what we have is a basic uh, selector panel here in the middle, which gives you seven choices in terms of spring type in the manual, the way they describe it. They basically are working with uh, two spring or three spring versions, each which give a different character. Uh, they talk about the different casings and how that affects the sound quality. There's no mention of how they capture the impulse responses, specific units they've used. So if you go to Motor City, is that the AKG BX20 or BX10? We have no idea. Is the twang coming out of like a Fender amp? I have no idea. So uh, basically what you got is something that sounds really good. Run your selector, find the one you like the best and dial it in. Um, when you go through the individual selections, there are three uh, reverb length times. There's a medium, which is the full impulse response, just as it is. Short is the processed version made shorter. So this is the there's one impulse response, not three for long, short, and medium, just so you kind of understand where that end of it is coming from. Uh, so that will stretch it or shrink it, basically, from there. Um, there's a pre-delay, pretty straightforward. That will uh, change the delay time before onset of spring. Um, now, the interesting thing with the feedback control, you would think that it is a control which is taking recycling the output back to the input. But the way it's described is that it controls headroom and it works in conjunction with the drive control. So with the drive control, essentially as we're pushing into the um, transducer, which is actually activating the spring, we're getting some resistance or some form of saturation, which is mostly you're gonna hear as sort of attenuating or kind of clipping a bit of the transient a bit, warming it up so that it will change the tonal character. So the way that this and this works together, the feedback is not about necessarily making the reverb time longer. It's about controlling the relationship with how much you're driving the input signal. So we'll give that a test drive and see how that goes. There are treble and bass controls. They do not tell you what frequencies they are, only telling you that it's a treble shelf and a bass shelf. See how that goes. Now, the plugin itself, when you feed into it, it's discrete left and right. So if you feed a signal only into the left side, it will only give you reverb out of the left. And if you feed it to the right, it will only give you reverb out of the right. Uh, often with these types of things, you'll get some kind of cross feed. That would be what you would typically get with a plate. Here, they make them discreetly independent. So that way you can really localize the reverb sort of where you want it. Um, depending upon the way you feed it. But there's also a mono switch. Now, the mono switch, it sounds like what they have are kind of two tanks uh, that are, are maybe uh, similar in some ways that create the left-right. So if you select classic, I don't know if it's two separate impulse responses. Obviously, there's a wide stereo field with it when you feed in right down the middle. So that's the differences between the left and the right. Again, we'll focus on that. But when you switch it to mono, it's taking the left side feeding that to the right output. So you're basically only running through one of them and that monos up the sound. So that's the mono switch there. Otherwise, wet dry control uh, with the mix and then an output gain control uh, for the output level. Uh, one of the cool things is that the drive control is not adding volume. You will hear a little more density in the sound. So you're getting a little bit more RMS signal level. So perhaps a little bit but uh, it's not um, not like you're adding like a ton of gain as you drive through it. Quick examples here. Let's uh, drive a little bit of vocal in through it. Just kind of go through the different sounds and then kind of dial in uh, some of the individual features. So this will be all on the medium setting. So what's the deal with your actions? I can't buy what you're selling me. Sick of all your contradictions. Is this happening? Trying to find my own reality Cause my ideas are free And the way that you've been acting Seems like a one-way street So what's the deal with your actions? I can't buy what you're selling me 
Sick of all your contradictions, is this happening? I'm trying to find my own reality, cause my ideas are free. So you have quite a range of tone, mostly kind of bright to dark, but uh, not entirely. Uh, you could obviously, you could change the reverb time. So let's go, let's just say, let's go to Motor City. So what's the deal with your actions? I can't buy what you're selling me. Sick of all your contradictions, is this happening? I'm trying to find my own reality, cause my ideas are free. Just to give you an so, idea, oh. like most, most plates are actually quite, uh, or I'm sorry, springs, uh, will usually give you a much longer reverb time, right, into the seconds. Uh, so, and often that ends up being too much. So the short setting is actually quite good. Plus we can create a little separation with the pre-delay. So let's just work a little bit with this and maybe work a little bit with the drive and the feedback. So what's the deal with your actions? I can't buy what you're selling me. Sick of all your contradictions, is this happening? I'm trying to find my own reality, cause my ideas are free. All right, so uh, one thing I would like to see here with the pre-delay, cause this is pretty straightforward, just a pre-delay, would be to have, um, you know, a, at least a setting here where we could do it in in musical timings, you know, eighth note, quarter note, sixteenth note, etc. That would have been a nice added feature. Uh, there's also, you know, a link here, and I'm not exactly sure what that is with the line. There's nothing that's referenced to in the manual, so I'm not exactly sure what the connection is. But let's uh, let's bring the pre-delay down here for a second. Let's work the drive control and the feedback. So what's the deal with your actions? I can't buy what you're selling me. Sick of all your contradictions, is this happening? I try to find my own reality, cause my ideas are free. And the way that you've been acting seems like a one way street. Don't you point your energy with your lack of. Sympathy. Yeah, so it sounds like what you're working with here is that with the feedback is sort of shifting the tonal character from low to high. So I bet it can get like a little squeal up at the top. So what's the deal with your actions? I can't buy what you're selling me. Sick of all your contradictions. Is this happening? Try to find my own reality, cause my ideas are free. All right, so that, that gives you like a, a lot of control over the tonal character right there, just taking that, warming it up and making it a bit richer, taking, smoothing out a bit sometimes of uh, what can make a spring reverb a difficult go-to. You know, if you have the space for the sound, it actually is can be really quite cool. And, you know, for me, I mostly use them with guitars just because they're in so many amps. It sort of has a little bit more of a natural uh, connection there. Um, but uh, but this one actually sounds really cool. It's got a great richness to it. Let's kind of check out a couple of the others here. So what's the deal with your actions? I can't buy what you're selling me. Sick of all your contradictions, is this happening? I try to find my own reality, cause my ideas are free. And the way that you've been acting seems like a one-way street. Don't you point your energy with your lack of sympathy so what's the deal with your actions i can't buy what you're selling me sick of all your contradictions is this happening 
Trying to find my own reality Cause my ideas are free And the way that you've been acting Seems like a one-way street Don't you point your energy With your lack of Sympathy Tell me how can you walk free Your guilty ways Wash down on me Tell me how Can you walk free Your guilty ways Wash down on me Alright, so you can, you can, uh you can see how there's quite a broad range of different tonal options as you kind of shape them. I really like that 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 connection between the feedback and the drive here. That really lends a lot of flexibility. Um, and then obviously you could put some other things. Like I'm just showing you like a vocal here. I could also put a guitar into it. Uh, I think I have a guitar here. <laughs> Right, then you can uh, kind of play with it and create all kinds of uh, pretty cool environmental textures. I really dig this. This is, seems like it has a lot of flexibility. The plate samples, I mean, the I keep saying plate, spring samples are really great. Um, gives you a nice wide variety of tonal options. Just basic features. Be nice if they could throw in a little option, even a little right click there. Give me a, a little uh, um, musical timing. But uh, aside from that, sounds amazing really great one so uh worth checking out if you don't have a good plate plugin or <laughs> he said it again <laughs> if you don't have a good spring plugin then uh it's definitely worth checking out plugin of the week from waves it's a magma springs <laughs> 